Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the concept of fuzzy graphs. Before this lecture, uh, we have already discussed the notion of fuzzy relations and then we have discussed the types of fuzzy relations like reflexivity, symmetry, transitivity and fuzzy equivalence relations as well. As we all know that a relation leads to a graph. What is a graph? A graph is based on relations. As in Crest's set theory, relation leads us to graph. Similarly, in fuzzy set theory, fuzzy relations leads us to fuzzy graphs. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the notion of fuzzy graph. We'll try to understand the definition of fuzzy graphs. We'll try to link fuzzy graphs with crisp graph. And we'll see the difference between fuzzy graphs and crisp graphs. And we'll show that fuzzy graph is a generalization of the crisp graph theory. So, first of all, we'll discuss the definition of crisp graph. What is a graph? A graph is a pair G is equal to VE, where V is the set of nodes and E is the set of edges. In graph theory, we say that a graph is a pair VE, where V is the set of vertices or nodes and E is the set of edges. So here V is equal to V1, V2 up to so on, Vn. These are the nodes or vertices and E, E1, E2 up to so on, Em. These are the edges of this graph. Two nodes. In, in, in this graph, we say that two nodes are either connected by an edge or not. This is the main point. In graph theory, if two nodes are related, if there is a relation between two nodes, then they are connected by an edge. Then there exists an edge between those two nodes. And if two nodes are not related, then there does not exist any edge between those two nodes. Example, we considered an example. Let G is equal to V E where we have three vertices and these are two edges. So basically we have a graph where we have three vertices v1, v2 and v3. We can see that v1 and v2 are connected by an edge e1 and v2 and v3 are connected by an edge e2. It means that v1 and v2 are related. There exists a relation between v1 and v2. There exists a relation between v2 and v3. So these vertices are connected by an edge because these are related. So you can see that if two vertices are related, then there is an edge between them. If two vertices are not related, then there does not exist any edge between them. So in simple graph or in crisp graph, we have only two possibilities. Either there is an edge between two vertices or there does not exist any edge between two vertices. Either we have an edge between two vertices or we do not. So there are only two possibilities. This is the similar case like in set theory where we have either an element belongs to a set or it doesn't. We have only two possibilities. But in fuzzy set theory, which is a generalized, generalized notion of crisp sets, we have a lot more flexibility. Similarly, this condition, this condition is very rigid. It's rigid because this restricts us to only two possibilities. Either two vertices are connected or not. Now, in crisp set theory, what do we have? When an element belongs to a set, we give it membership value 1. When an element does not belong to a set, we give it the membership value 0. Similarly, if we see in graph theory, each vertex belongs to this graph. So the membership value of each vertex is 1. In crisp graph, the membership value of each vertex is 1. We do not mention any one here, but it's obvious the membership value of each vertex is one because these vertices belong to the vertex set. And if some element belongs to a set, then its membership value is one. Similarly, if an edge belongs to the edge set, then its membership value is one. If an edge does not belong to the edge set, then its membership value is zero. Here we can say E1 belongs to this edge set. E2 belongs to this edge set, so their membership value is 1. But 
there does not any edge between v1 and v3 suppose we say e3 e3 has a membership value 0 because e3 doesn't belong to the edge set so in simple words we can say that each vertice in a crisp graph must have a membership value 1 and if there is an edge between two vertices then the membership value of that edge must be 1 if there does not exist any edge then the membership value of that edge must be 0 so we are restricted to either 0 or 1 case now we are moving to the scenario of fuzzy graph what is a fuzzy graph first we have the definition of fuzzy graph a pair g is equal to v e is said to be a fuzzy graph where this v is a mapping this e is a mapping what what we have what we had in crisp graph in crisp graph we have a set of vertices a set of edges what we have in fuzzy graph we have a mapping v and we have a mapping e where v from s to 0 1 and e from s cross s to 0 1 for all x y belonging to s and what is s s is a node set s is a node set now this means that in fuzzy graph the vertex set the vertex set is basically a fuzzy set and the edge set is based on fuzzy relations what we had in crisp graph here we have a set and we have a relation on this set if two uh, on, on the elements of this set if two elements of this set are related then we have an edge if two elements of this set are not related then we don't have an edge here this v from s to 0 1 provides us the membership values of the vertices and this e from s cross s to 0 1 provides us the membership value of the edges e shows that how much two vertices are related if the value of e is closer to 1 we can say that two vertices are more closely related if the value of e is closer to 0 we can say that two vertices are less related so here we are not saying whether two, two vertices are related or not here we are not discussing the absolute cases but we are discussing how much two vertices or two nodes are connected or related so this e a mapping from s cross s to 0 1 what is this s the vertex set so this e this e mapping gives us the, the strength of or the, or the strength of relation of the two vertices on a scale of 0 to 1 so this s denotes the node set or the vertex set further there is a condition on this e and what is that condition e of x y is less or equal to v of x in v of y the membership value of an edge between two vertices x and y must be less or equal to the minimum of membership value of each vertex the membership value of an edge of two vertices x y must be less than the minimum of both the minimum of membership values of both the vertices why we had this condition the question arises why we have this condition why can't we simply give the membership value independently like we can assign any value this is this is only because when we generalize a framework whenever we generalize a framework we need to keep in mind that if it, if it is the generalization of Chris graph then we can say that every Chris graph must be a fuzzy graph because a fuzzy graph is generalization of Chris graph so if we don't if we don't apply this condition if we don't have this condition then this definition might not be correct look what is the membership value of this vertex 1 and what is the membership value of this vertex 1 we are dealing with crisp graphs here so the membership value here is 1 the membership here value here is 1 what could be the possibility of this the membership value of this edge either 0 or 1 now here the membership value is 1 here the membership value is 1 and what is their minimum 1 now what what could be the value of this edge either 1 or 0 so the value the membership value of this edge 
is less than or equal to the minimum of both of these. Similarly, here we have the membership value 1, the membership value 1 and here the membership value is 0. So the membership value of this edge is less or equal to the minimum of both the, these membership values. So what is, the, what is their minimum? Their minimum is 1. So this could be either 1 or 0. This is the case in fuzzy, fuzzy set, fuzzy graphs. So using, using this condition, we can claim that every Chris graph can be considered a fuzzy graph. Look, in fuzzy graph, a vertex, each vertex may have a membership value from 0, 1 interval. So this could be 0. This could be 1. This could be somehow between 0 and 1. So 1 is here. The case of 1 is here. That is, the case of 1, we already have the case of 1 in crisp graph theory as well. Similarly, what is the value of edge, the membership value of edge in fuzzy graph from 0, 1 interval? So the case of 1 and 0 is here. It means, using this condition, we can claim that every crisp graph is a fuzzy graph. But a fuzzy graph may or may not be a crisp, crisp graph. Now, we will we'll show this statement, we will prove this statement with the help of an example that a fuzzy graph may or may not be a crisp graph. But every crisp graph is a fuzzy graph. Now, look at this. Membership value 1, membership value 1 and the membership value of this edge is 1 which is less or equal to the minimum of both of these. Now, membership value 1, membership value 1, here the membership value of this edge is 0 which is less than the minimum of both of these. So, we can say that this crisp graph is also a fuzzy graph. But a fuzzy graph may not be a crisp graph. Here, here is another question. Why we, why we say this, the value of this edge must be less or equal to the minimum of both these membership values? Why the condition of less or equal? Why not get or equal? So there are two answers to this question. And Rosenfeld already discussed this question in his very first paper on fuzzy graphs. Suppose, look at the crisp graph. The membership value of this vertex is 1. The membership value of this vertex is 1. Can the membership value of this edge be greater than 1? Can an edge have greater value, have greater membership value than its vertices? No, it cannot. It is very uh, impractical. This is very impractical. It cannot have a greater value than its vertices. As in fuzzy graph, we already studied it. This, this edge either has membership value 1 or 0. Either these are related or not. So this edge, the membership value of edge shows us the strength of relation between two vertices. The strength of relation between two vertices. So the membership value of an edge cannot exceed the individual membership value of its vertices. That is why we place less or equal here. So, this is the definition of fuzzy graph. Now, we have an example on fuzzy graph. Consider S is equal to X, Y, Z. We have a node set. We have three nodes, X, Y, and Z. V of X and we have the membership value of each node. V of X is 0 0.4. V of Y is 0 0.6. V of Z is 0 0.7. Similarly, we have an edge set. V of X, Y is 0 0.3. We have E of Y, Z 0 0.4 and E of X, Z 0 0.4. Now, we give these values using this restriction. So, using these, using this information, we constructed a fuzzy graph. This is x, y, z. These are their membership values and these are the membership values of the edges e1, e2, e3. Or we can say x, y, y, z and x, z. So, this is a fuzzy graph. Now, this fuzzy graph cannot be considered as a crisp graph because in crisp graph, we have, we have membership value 1 for all the vertices and there are only two possibilities for the edges. Either there exists an edge between two vertices or there does not exist an edge between two vertices. Either two vertices are related or they are not related. So, there are only two possibilities. But in fuzzy graph, we have a lot more flexibility than crisp graph theory. So, fuzzy graph may not be considered as a crisp graph, but every crisp graph can be considered as fuzzy graph. 
So in this way, we can claim that fuzzy graph theory is the generalization of crisp graph theory. There are many other concepts in fuzzy in graph theory that can be converted into fuzzy graph theory. And until now, a lot of work has already been done in fuzzy graph theory. If you are interested, you must study the paper, the first, the very first paper of Rosenfeld, and then there are books on fuzzy graph theory where you can see that almost every every phenomena that is developed in crisp graph they are somehow fuzzified that is all from today's lecture so in this lecture we try to understand the definition of fuzzy graph and we try to compare it with crisp graph as well and we have proved that the crisp graph can be considered a fuzzy graph but a fuzzy graph may or may not be a crisp graph